know about you, but it's becoming very tedious and time consuming to manage a mods world in The Sims 4. What's up, boo? Welcome back to my channel. I hope y'all have a great day. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to your dark side because this video is sponsored by Curse Forge. And we partner up to show you just how simple and easy it is to manage a mods folder for The Sims 4 using their program, especially if you are new to modding. Because I am a firm believer of having a mods folder that is manageable and also that feeds your mod addiction. I'll be showing off some amazing features such as updating some cool mods that you can download with Curse Forge and hopefully not go on a CC shopping spree, but I'm a CC connoisseur. That's a fancy way of saying mod addict. And we gonna see how that works out for me. And if you can't wait to grab some mods, you can download the Curse Forge app from the link in the description. But let's go ahead and just jump right in. All right, so if you're not familiar with Curse Forge, then that's okay because that's why I'm here. So Curse Forge is a all-in-one platform for modding. It has a bunch of other games on there, but we're focusing on The Sims 4 because hello, mod channel. Hello, mod addict. You know what? The first step of recovery is admitting that. There are thousands of mods on this platform, but I'm gonna be focusing on some of my favorites. Now, I did say in some previous videos, we will check out the updating. How simple it is to update your mods, especially your script mods after updates. So let's just go ahead and check and see. So who needs updating? Oh, okay, yeah, you need updating, okay. Um, Do I just click? Okay, no, I click on it and then I just, oh, okay. So that, that's simple. You just click and then it just automatically updates. Then you just go back and then you do the other one. And then you just click on another one and then you just update that one. That's it. <laughs> and your mods are updated. It's super simple and easy to discover new mods on the platform. And it's amazing to have them all in one place. If you're familiar with modding, then you know you have to go to one website and another website and then this website, then that website. And you're like, where did I get this mod from? But with Curse Forge, everything's in one simple place. You just go on the website or you can go to the app and you just either download to your computer or you can just download it through Curse Forge itself and it just simply just installs it to your mod folder for you. I get a lot of questions if it's safe to mod for The Sims 4, like if there's any viruses or malware, and the answer is no, especially with Curse Forge. All mods in CC are moderated according to The Sims 4 guidelines and it's completely safe. I already shut off the mod manager, but it is a lifesaver. Again, especially if you're new to modding and you don't know where to start. There's a lot of content on this platform. I myself didn't know they had builds. I, I, I did not know. <laughs> I, I usually go to the script mods, but then I went over to the cast and then I went over to the builds and I was like, there are actual builds and rooms here. And I proceeded to download a lot of them. Um, let's not judge me during this video. I was supposed to be recording B-roll, but then I just started downloading CC that I enjoyed. So, you know, it, it don't judge me, okay? The shoes, the hair, the accessories. It was just so, it, I, I got sucked in. It was so easy. Usually you download, you have a few websites, you open up 30 plus tabs. Y yeah, you do, you do. And then you're waiting to download all of them. But with Curse Forge, you click the button and it downloads it for you. Then you click another button and it downloads. It's, so, it's, I, I, by the time I finish this video, I have about three gigs of additional content in the game. Let's, let's, let's not talk about it. I'm not proud, okay? I'm not proud of it. It's that simple to get caught up. If you're wondering about the mature content, it's clean of nudity and violence, so that way you can mod safely on the platform. Okay, now I already have a bunch of mods in my Curse Forge. Again, we're not gonna judge, but I'm going to see how much more I can download in 60 seconds. Let me, ooh, should I go to new releases? Ooh, I should definitely go to new releases. Okay, all right, one minute, get ready, go. Okay, view all. Okay, ooh, wait, this is cute. That's cute, that's cute, that's cute. I do need more glasses. I actually do like glasses. Uh, What else, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else, what else? What else? Ooh, that's an alone screen. That's cute. Let's see. Oh, this is cute. This is cute. Not me being picky with 35 seconds left. L -l 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 listen, 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 listen. Oh, tattoos. <gasps> I do need a lot of tattoos. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. How much time is left? 24 seconds? Wait, what is this? I don't know. Give it to me. Uh, what is this? Oh, we have some careers from Kiara Sims for Mods. We love. Oh, these are the active careers. We love active careers here. Um, this is a lot of stuff. A lot. Oh, that's that's really pretty. How much time is it? Nine seconds. Wait a minute. 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 Wait. A minute, wait, a minute, wait, a minute uh, wait. Come on. Come on. Come on. I don't even know what this stuff is, but it, I'm just clicking. I'm just clicking. Oh, hey. Stop, okay. You know you download a lot of mods where it's pending in the queue, but it's actually quick though. So 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 
39, 42 months within the span of 60 seconds. Now imagine if you were on here for hours. Just imagine. <gasps> These are so cute. These are actually so cute. Uh, and of course, I was actually being quite picky too. I should have been picky, but it's fine. It's cool. It, it's it's all good. I wonder if there's anything else. Bachelorette party. Got some more food from Somika Sovrinka. Um, oh, we got some more. Ooh, ooh, wait a minute now. Yeah, I see what's going on right now. Listen, listen, it's an addiction, okay? <laughs> this is bad. <laughs> Curse Forge makes it so easy to just click. <gasps> Those Susu Weather app. What is this? I don't know, but I'm gonna, ooh, tattoos. I think that's a tattoo. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? I don't know. <gasps> the thrift store overhaul? It's on here! You're, you're lying. <gasps> You're lying. Oh, that's on here. Let's go. Crazy Goods is on here. <gasps> New Social Bunny app is on here. Let me go ahead and download that into the game. Listen. <laughs> listen, Linda. Listen. Okay, I think I should stop at this point. <gasps> These are nice. Wait a minute. This whole catalog is nice. I should have kept scrolling. <gasps> Some traits, a dragon tattoo. What is this? Modern toilet. I, I don't think I need a modern toilet paper, but you know, whatever. Uh, this I need. I don't need any of this, but I'm gonna download it anyway because it's so easy. Should probably. I, I should probably stop. Should probably do. Okay, I'm stopping. I'm stopping. I'm stopping. I'm stop. Okay. Um. Anyway, so <laughs> let's go ahead and load up the game because clearly. I have a problem. We're gonna check out some of the stuff I have in my game from Kaz to Bill Vi, and even some of the script mods that I have because I'm excited to show you. And I'm going to show you some of my favorite mods that I think you should have in your game. But first things first, let's go ahead and just jump right in. Let's actually go into the Sim, the household that I have and see if I can add some more to the sim we know the script mods i installed are appearing because wonderful whims gave me the notification home and land re and of course if i go to the phone to also weather app and the dating again re wonderful let me see command center so yeah so the first mod you're gonna see is i do have a custom cast background this is one of my favorites because it's a nod to sims 2 and i i just love it here all right so let's do it's her sleepwear but i don't know if i have anything good for her sleepwear now i do have some nice cc on her for her everyday outfit and i feel like we need to give her another everyday outfit real quick oh this is cute but is that like <gasps> the off the shoulder sweater maybe perhaps a green green is literally her color okay did i down i don't think i downloaded any new hairs but that's just me though wait a minute we love the updo trust the process okay accessories earrings did i download earrings i did download earrings but we're not gonna do that uh let's see Ooh, these washed out content custom what the wait no no no, no. how about these boots yeah or maybe these boots no how about these no we're good how about these <gasps> the these are the shoe this is the shoe all right so i downloaded some furniture let's see let's check out all the furniture i got and place it in the house <gasps> is that the sweet treat let's get you a new bed Ooh, ooh. okay pretty now we have some end tables is this a little bar cart i'm gonna put a bar cart in their room because everyone needs a bar cart in their room put it over here what is this i don't really know oh is it okay i'm young conventional i don't think i got flooring there and then put that there you don't really need books my sims don't read i don't even know why they try Ooh, how about all black yeah that looks that looks fire. Ooh. Let's do... You know what? I'm gonna put Katy Perry sweet treats in here. Because I don't care what you say. That was the Sims 3 pack. <laughs> because there is a Katy Perry sweet treat pack. Um, for the Sims 4 from Little Dyka. Yeah. That, 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 that was it. We're gonna put this. This is all for us on the sweet treats pack. Anyway. So, so weather app. Check the weather in... Okay. I'm gonna check the weather in Oasis Springs. Currently weather partly cloudy, temperature warm. Okay. Let's try somewhere else. Let's try Del Sol Valley. Now, let's go ahead and check out... Mm, some the dating real quick. We're gonna do a quick hookup. So, don't say nothing. Mind your business. And we're going to have a one-night stand with... 
Don, is Don alive in the save file? There he is, Don Lothario. Well, this got awkward real <laughs> fast. <laughs> well, oh well. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. <laughs> so wait, we have two one night stands here. I didn't even know that. You don't even live here, my guy. Not us um, having laundry to do, do laundry. At a washing machine. I should go now. Thanks for the, you know what. You're welcome. Bye. So that's how you use Curse Forge to mod your game, keep it updated, keep it organized, and just have loads of fun while playing The Sim. If you want to learn more about Curse Forge, you can go to the link in the description box. And I will see you next time. Bye, boo.